to, abych vytvořil koncept takových sérií videí s různými lidmi v rámci takových rozhovorů. A dneska tady máme první takové video. Dnešní rozhovor bude s mojí kamarádkou Kristínkou, která pracuje v rámci univerzity UCLA jako asistentka na patologii. Takže doufám, že tohle téma pro vás bude zajímavé, že se dozvíme spoustu důležitých informací. Je tohle první rozhovor, který v tomhle formátu dělám, takže veškeré připomínky mi můžete psát dolů do komentářů. Já doufám, že si dnešní video užijete a hlavně zkoukněte dnešní video až úplně do konce, protože na konci se dozvíte, jak i vy sami se můžete vašimi otázkami zapojit do tvoření toho obsahu daného rozhovoru. So just calm down, relax and I would like to welcome you here because this is the first interview I do. I'm glad you came because your profession is something I never seen whatsoever. So I'm glad you are here. So can you shortly introduce yourself and also can you shortly name and introduce what you actually do? My name is Christine and I work as a pathologist assistant. Okay. If you will fly back in time, what made you to choose such a job? Uh, a lot of things. So I studied biology at university and I really like science and medicine, but I didn't want to go to medical school and I didn't want to work directly with patients. So this is a way that I can be involved in patient care and medicine, but still do something interesting and um, yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about the school and the studying background? For my job, you have to go to four years of university after you finish high school and get what's called a bachelor's degree in a science field, or at least take the science classes that you need to take. And then after that, you have to get a master's degree in health science specific to pathologist assistant. Is this something you always wanted to do? I didn't know it existed. So. Let me make this clear. You studied four years biology mm -hmm. and you still still have no idea what you are gonna do. Right. How difficult it was for you to finish the school. And also, can you give people a little idea how much it cost? <laughs> you don't wanna know how much it costs. Um, Is this worth <laughs> the job? <laughs> it's worth it. It's it's definitely worth it. Uh, I like school and I'm good at school, so it's not hard for me and when you're a full-time student and that's all you have to worry about then that's what you do. So I went to University of California at Davis for my undergraduate for four years and then I took four years off and then I went to Quinnipiac Where's University. That? That's in Connecticut. Let's dive a little more into your job because that's very interesting. Because when you first time told me what you do, I almost freak out. So I work specifically in surgical pathology so When somebody has surgery to take out a tumor or an organ or um, something is wrong, that specimen, that tissue comes to us and we process it and cut into it to look for tumor. You are only looking for a tumors or? Not all. I mean, it depends on the case. Sometimes we get benign things that don't have cancer and sometimes we get cancerous ones. And sometimes you get like accidents or something like this, right? Yes. We okay. get amputations uh, and lung transplants and... I don't understand how such a beautiful girl like you can do something like this. You know, I really can't. A lot of people who work in medical industry, they bring the problems from the medical industry home. For example, they see something terrible happening at work and then at home they are thinking about it. Do you also think about it? Um, not really. So you keep no. your work at work? Yes. So can you tell people how much was the university? I think My graduate university in total is about a hundred thousand dollars, maybe. For the entire for two years. For two years. Hundred thousand dollars for it was nine hundred and twenty dollars per unit. And each semester we had about fourteen units. Oh. It's expensive though, and it's only getting more expensive. So it's getting even worse? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. That is really fucked up. Life in LA can be very expensive. Is your work something that allows you to have a freedom in your life when it comes to finances and also when it comes to free time? So I work Monday through Friday, nine to six. So just a normal job. Um, there's also people at my work who do a late shift. So they work 11 to eight, but some people work on call or weekend hours, but I don't have to do that. Do you still have to like uh, 
learn on your own or you just pick as you go? Uh, well, we, I mean, we're learning something new every day when we get different specimens. Um, but we do have to do what's called continuing education and every medical professional has to do that, doctors, nurses, uh, everyone. And so whether we go to a conference or do some kind of online course. Is there any time frame? How often you have to do that? We have to do it within every three years. There's a certain number of credits that we have to get. Are you having nightmares sometimes? No, no but I did dream about work the other day. Really? <laughs> yeah. What did you dream? Uh, I had a dream about doing a, this, a, like a heart and lung specimen. So, yeah. <laughs> I must say I'm having different kind of dreams. <laughs> Nothing like that. Can you imagine yourself doing the, doing what you do right now in 10 years? Yeah. Yeah? So mm -hmm. is it something you really like mm -hmm. and you would like to stick with? Yeah. Okay. If you would like to move higher, for example, you would like to become a doctor, what would you have to do in the US? Um, because it's completely different in Czech, I'm sure, like that this, there's a big difference between those two worlds. It, it is very different. Um, to become a doctor, you have to go to four years of university and you have to take certain prerequisite classes, what they're called, so basic biology, chemistry, organic chemistry, uh, microbiology, science, like a lot of science classes. And then from that, you also have to do, you know, volunteer work and get exposure into medicine. And then from there, you can apply to medical school. And medical school is four years. So then you go to medical school. And then after medical school, depending on which specialty you want to study, then you go into residency. Mm. And that's and it depends on the specialty, but most of them are four years. So the pathologists in training are in their residency and they're studying for four years. Or they're basically like working as doctors. And then once they finish their residency, they can go even further and do what's called a fellowship for a year or two. And then, um, yeah, be a practicing doctor. My school is two years, the graduate program. The first year is in the classroom and the second year is an internship. And so I did my internship at UCLA and they saw that I was doing a good job. I was learning things quickly and they liked me. So when my position opened up, you know, a few months into my internship, they kept the position open for me and hired me when I finished my schooling. So you got pretty lucky. So I got pretty lucky. So I didn't really have to apply Damn, that's very good. many places. Well, good for just, you. It kind of just fell in place. What is the ratio between men and women? There's more female pathologist assistants, but there's more male pathologists. So most of the residents are male, but there's there's equal. There's some females too, but I would say more of the residents are male, and there's um, three PAs that are female and one male. Are you able to get some health benefits since you are a medical employee? Yeah, UCLA offers um, healthcare benefits, which is also another reason why people are taking such a jobs like you do, right? because that can yeah. be very helpful. Yeah. I know you say that you are very satisfied with, with what you do and that you can imagine yourself in 10 years doing the same thing. But is there any anything where you would like to improve? What would you like to learn? So I don't really need to be anything more. I can apply for more managerial positions if I wanted. Right now, I just want to focus on being a really good pathologist assistant. I get to teach the residents, so I enjoy that. So you are teaching the third future doctors? Yes. Damn, look at you. <laughs> well, this is pretty much like enough what I wanted to ask you. To me, it's impressive profession. I cannot really imagine myself doing it because I know when you show me some certain pictures, you have my respect. <laughs> uh, I forgot I have a present for you. Damn. Look at that. I hope that there's not gonna be some part of that body or something. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm just gonna unwrap it like work this. Work stays in the lab. I don't bring work home. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. My friend Marcel is gonna be really pissed. He's running all over LA and he's trying to find those. Thank you very much. <laughs> she just gave me a check candies. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, thank you one more time for coming here. Thank you very much and thank you for coming. You're welcome. Duck.
A tohle by bylo všechno pro dnešní rozhovor. Já jsem záměrně všechny otázky vybíral tak, aby to bylo vždycky v návaznosti na to, o čem jsme se bavili. V příštích dílech budeme víc do hloubky a taky budete mít možnost se ptát. A teďka k tomu, jak se můžete ptát. Pokud se mi vždycky podaří natočit video před tím, než budu natáčet rozhovor, tak do toho videa vždycky uvedu, s kým ten rozhovor budu natáčet a na jaké téma bude. A každý z vás budete mít možnost napsat do komentáře pod to předchozí video. Různou otázku, která vás zajímá. Každý ten komentář může obsahovat tři otázky. Delší seznam nepište, protože by to bylo jako slová práce. Pokud těch otázek máte víc, tak klidně těch komentů můžete napsat víc. Ale ne vždycky se mi podaří před tím rozhovorem natočit nějaké video, kde, kterého budu moc umístit tu zmínku. Tak že taky na mém Instagramu budu vždycky postovat takové upozornění, že se takový nějaký rozhovor připravuje a na jaké téma a můžete se ho vždycky zúčastnit. Takže děkuji vám moc za pozornost, tohle by bylo první video ze série rozhovorů, budu postupně zvyšovat kvalitu otázek, kvalitu natáčení, výběr hostů, budu se snažit si na tom dávat čím dál tím víc a víc záležet. Děkuji vám moc, že jste se dívali a uvidíme se, se někdy příště. Čau.